Good morning, everybody. How is everybody? How are you all getting on on this wonderful morning? Uh, let me see. Can everybody hear me? Yes, you can. My microphone's being picked up loud and clear. That's good news. Uh, music isn't too loud, I think. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Let me know if it is. And we have a few things that I want to work on today. In fact, I think that music might be a tiny bit loud. Let me have a look. Oh, that is the wrong one. Pretzel. Let's bring it down. There we go. It's a bit less loud for me, and I can turn it up for you just a tiny bit. Hopefully, that's just right. <clears throat> I'm a bit late this morning. Uh... <laughs> It was a little bit hard getting my eldest out to crash. Uh, also, I only woke up quite late because my youngest was up all night. This is um, a late stream, but it won't be too bad because I can stay a bit later. So we can still have a long stream this morning. Woohoo! Okay, so my to-do items up there. Oh, no, it's on the wrong one. It's on the wrong one. Come on, I've got a dashboard for this. Uh, previous, previous. My to-do items are quite uh, short today. Um, last few weeks we've been working on this. Um, <clears throat> what is it? Ember CLI add-on docs migrator. For anybody who doesn't know what that is, Ember CLI add-on docs. Ember CLI add-on docs is this. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -mm -mm. It's this uh, tool that a lot of Ember add-ons use to document them. They all kind of look like this. It's nice, you know, it's good for some reasons, but it's bad for others. It's not, not, the, not the best and for other reasons. So uh, I have migrated it to... I have, I've created a system that migrates this to Field Guide, uh, which Ember Star Guide is a good example of a field guide. Um, looks a bit different, but, you know, if you've been following along, we've made a template that looks quite similar, but the feature set isn't 100% there. <clears throat> we built something that, essentially, you can't order this temp temple of <laughs> table of contents other than uh, uh, alphabetically, and uh can't influence the name of things either which is a bit which isn't great you know we can do better than that we 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 have the power we have the technology we can do this um and in fact the item that we're talking about here is this one add pages yaml functionality to field guide so that you can customize the titles of pages and tables of contents and some other stuff so we'll be working through that a little bit today. <coughs> Excuse me. And then after that, my next item in the to-do list up there is auto changelog plugin. Uh, I've been using this thing here, auto changelog, to like do releases of all of my things. Um, but I'm working off a of fork, which is not great uh, for various reasons. And I want to get it, I want to make it mainstream again. I want everybody to be able to use this thing. So uh, I created a pull request and the person said, uh, ooh, bones go, cool. Um, the person said, nope, don't like it. Well, it wasn't as harsh as that. It was a very thoughtful uh, response, actually. This is pretty cool. Um, Cook Pete, I guess, was like, mm, don't want to include it for everybody, but... How about we do it as a plugin? Okay. So, uh, he gave me some ideas on how to turn it into a plugin thingy. And I will have a stab at that if I have the time. So, that's my two things. Um, I also had a thought. Uh, GitHub.com, Mansona which overlay issues i had an idea for an issue for this uh overlay um if i add too many to do items or even ones that wrap 
Is it going to restart on me? It is. We get this kind of, like... It, it keeps getting taller and taller, and it'll start, like... I think it might start encroaching on me. Oh, well, I guess I'm I'm in front of it. Uh, even more stuff. See, that's... This is now ridiculous. <laughs> No, that, that can't work. And it's also a little bit ridiculous because the timer is so massive. Like, it doesn't need to take up that much space if we have so many items up the top. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write myself a little uh, issue. Uh, feature request, I guess. Um, we're going to say, uh, limit the left side bar to a fixed height, uh, maximum, and have a bit more dynamic. So, I oh, probably can't see that, it's probably a bit small. So essentially, it's just limit the sidebar to have a maximum fixed height, and then make other things dynamic. Um, if we add more than three to, to do items, or if any are long and wrap around, uh, uh, the will be too tall and overlap with E. And when that happens, it doesn't make sense for the timer to be so. It flex grow flex shrink shrink is that how you spell shrink? I guess. Make it flex shrink to fit in the available space. Uh, I don't really need anything else. Uh, it's been a new issue. That's an, another feature request. Um, these two. Uh, are currently in my community challenges. So if you wanted to like get me to do. Uh. This one or this one first, then um, you can spend your beautiful channel points and uh, have me do that. Uh, and then we can fill in and these are the things. Uh, channel rewards later. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to it. <clears throat> Ooh, Going to the next task item. Field guide TOC. So, let's have a look. See, uh, I probably have field guide here somewhere. CAD migrator, auto change log, field guide. Here we go. So, um, oh, I should probably uh, put my terminal on a window that everybody can actually see. Wee. Come on. Oh, the computer is dying. Come on. Yeah, man. You can do it. Oh, the computer really struggled there for a minute. <laughs> CD git open source compress field guide field guide. Okay, git pull. Maybe, in case we're out of date with anything. Fork. Check if there's any branches that we care about. Go. 
We're up to date. Nice. Nice. Uh, what's this? Go away, core settings. I don't need you. Uh, <clears throat> Field guide default template. Not my current plan. Is it my current plan? Uh, we're going to have to link them. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. So. We have a field guide. Uh, NPM start. See what happens. I think this song is actually already played. I don't think there's a lot of jazz categories that are allowed to be played. Let's move to uh, lo-fi. Doing something. What's this doing? Thinking about starting. Hey, it started. Nice one. And this is it. So this is <clears throat> this is field guide, but um, being an Empress project, uh, the field guide repo that I'm working in right now. I think I could do this to make it so you can see. So I'm in field guide. Um, field guide is the like the core add-on that does like a lot of the smarts the, the complicated stuff and then we have field guide default template which deals with like making this look the way it does <clears throat> so if we're going to change okay i need to get rid of this person one second uh Do I? Then, did that go away? Did that? Did I get rid of this? Oh. One second. I just want to try and get rid of this chat message. Oh, I have to ban them or something. Then I can go in here, change this and save it. And I should change my, <coughs> should get rid of this. No. There we go. <coughs> That's not going to be an interesting challenge with, um, have it up twitch overlay i have a thing in here which is uh for such oh somebody at the door Someone's at... mm, let me see my wife might be fantastic christmas time and uh Postman is bringing gifts all the time nowadays. It was my wife's birthday yesterday. Oh. There was some sort of delay. <coughs> okay, so here, persist chat messages. So this day between screens and refresh we need to add something in here more details important we need a way to be able to clear that messages when there is a um, problem Okay, cool. 
So back to it. <coughs> okay, so what we want to do is we want to add a pages YAML functionality. What does that even mean? Right. So let's go here. Back to our yield guide. Did I already move it to the end? I did. Uh, let's see if we have guide maker in here. I can probably open it. I think. Oh, don't do that. Oh, no, it's easy. Okay, so Guide Maker has the functionality that we want. So. <clears throat> dummy guides release so inside like it has a versioning system which is a whole other thing <clears throat> but inside the release or one of the versions you've got this pages yaml which is <coughs> excuse me which is a yaml that describes all of the pages that you have so what we want to probably do is have the same thing in our docs. So in our docs, uh, oh, I should probably turn off my notifications. And uh, let me do that. How do I do that? And uh, do not disturb. I said turn on, do not disturb, and see what happens. Okay. So the idea here is that instead of it being uh, uh, alphabetical order, we want to be able to change things. So in our case, let's say concepts. We want colors to come first and then auto execution. We also don't want it to be, we don't want it to be hyphenated like this. We want to change the look of it. Uh, and also maybe we want to hide index because that is where we get to when we just click the the um, localhost or whatever. There's an index problem as well, but we'll get to that. When we when we click the the logo, we get to the index, so we'll just hide it. So let's have a let's have a think. <clears throat> so what would that look like? Well, let's steal pages YAML because it's a thing that we know that works. And let's drop it in here. I'm wondering actually if we restart the server. Don't know if I'm using. Broccoli static site JSON. I am. And I think. Pages is built in to Broccoli Static Site JSON. I'm not entirely sure. There's a Pages JSON. Well, okay, that's pretty good. Hmm, this might be simpler than I thought. Famous last words. Oh, wow. I don't even know what that is. But um, <clears throat> I said it was my wife's birthday and her one of her friends from work just sent her like a very tasty looking treat. I don't know what it is, but it looks... Tasty. Okay, so we have pages, but I wonder how does this table of contents actually get implemented? Is it just loading? Oh, we've got. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We've got talk.json. Mm, let's have a look at this. Oh, I just know I've broken something. There's something wrong. 
whatever it is, I've done it wrong. Let's have a look at our XHRs. Getting top JSON. Ages. Oh, pages YAML. Okay, so Broccoli static site JSON. Let's go and have a look at you. Um, in fact, do I have one open here? I do. Um, let's have a look at you. Let's fetch to see if you're on the latest everything. And in broccoli static site JSON. Broccoli funnel pages. Is it odd? Those are the tabs. Is it odd to anybody else? That's called pages.json instead of toc.json. Ah, uh, Google, what are you doing? Boy. As in, <clears throat> like we're downloading it as toc.json in the runtime when it's when it's running. Pages. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, Raj, you uh, redeemed ad time. Uh, I will. I will. Uh, before. Uh, do whatever the word is. Uh, your ad at the first break in two minutes. Um, <clears throat> it's it's not all that exciting. It just asks me to uh, run an ad. But thank you for redeeming your channel points for it. Um, I think there are more exciting uh, channel points things in there. But uh, thanks for watching and thanks for redeeming the, the advert. That's nice. Uh, I don't know if I'm overthinking this. Pages, page, JSON, talk, JSON. I just feel like... Lib, tip. Lib, table of content. It is for good, Raj. Don't you worry. Um, but you, if you're new to the whole channel points thing, you'll see uh, there are there are more exciting ones in there. So let's. Uh, I'll I'll explain it when we get to the advert. But um, yeah, or when I get to the 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 break, the first break data as well. Actually, because now I forgot that I was doing uh, ads at at breaks as well. <clears throat> Um, test. Tip of contents. Oh, 
this is not very not very try catchy. <clears throat> Bit extremely try catchy, but anyway. Right, let's go into just chatting or our Pomodoro break. I love that new title. <laughs> ah, that's good. Okay, so where is my um <clears throat> let's run an ad break. So that's um, an ad for people who are not uh, subscribers. Uh, you don't have to be a subscriber. It's not like required at all in any way, shape or form. Um, I'm essentially sponsored to do this by my current employer because we get 20% time and I choose to do this on my 20% time. So I'm not actually doing this to try and make a living streaming. But uh, any support that anybody is giving me is very much appreciated. Um, and I have a, a few plans for when I get my first payout from Twitch to maybe uh, pay it forward and give kind of smaller creators uh, some contracts to do things for Empress, maybe uh, some templates and stuff. But we'll see. Um, in fact, I might go and I might change my viewer rewards move the ad time one because I'm going to run ads at uh... oh how do I mark them as complete review requests queue I re oh okay there we go. Marked as complete. Interesting. Didn't know that was a thing. We'll move that time because I've got a better one. Boom. So how is everybody this morning? I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. <coughs> It's Thursday and wherever you're tuning in from. I guess it'll be early morning Tuesday on the West Coast still. Even if it still feels like Wednesday. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So did you see an ad when I did that, uh, Raj? Or did it, um, did you stay with me while I was talking about supporters, etc, etc? Is it's not just people who um, sub to the channel that uh, no, so you didn't see an ad. Yeah, so it'll only play you an ad if you're in a jurisdiction. They love saying that sort of thing when it comes to adverts and uh, <coughs> uh, like TV licenses, etc. Jurisdiction just a country if you're in a country that somebody has purchased ads for so if I try and watch a, a twitch um a twitch show at the moment as soon as I join I get a pre-roll that is a uh an ad for arcane is that what the name is this um Netflix program that's based on uh, League of Legends? Oh, I know there's two. There's one that's Dota and there's uh, League of Legends as well. So I hope I'm not mixing them up. It's like somebody saying Star Wars instead of Star Trek or the or vice versa. I imagine that uh, League of Legends people would be very annoyed if I get it mixed up. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh if you don't, if you're living in a country that they don't have ads purchased for people, targeting people in that country, then you get one of the benefits of being uh, subscribed uh, without having to pay any money, which is nice, which is pretty good. Uh, let me check something. Have a look. 
um oh my my revenue from ads from last week <laughs> let's have a look at the last month maybe oh no uh day but do it in the last last month ads I have made I have never made any money from ads for me like running ads is just entirely pointless oh no I made four cents <laughs> like I think it's only useful for people who have like a hundred people viewing or more uh, anyway let's get back to programming boom um okay so uh I got all thinky and not uh, talky enough there before the the call. But essentially, what we have is we have this thing in our broccoli stack side JSON, which is the thing that turns uh, that turns Markdown into JSON that we download, and it looks for. YAMLs and JSONs. And... <clears throat> it... Pages.json. Pages.yaml, pages.json. Okay, cool. So what it does is it it loads in a pages.yaml or a pages.json. And then it does a bit of magic to it and then it creates the thing. Which is alright. Not so bad. But I don't want that. I want it to also work on... pages.yaml a lot of weird stuff going on here so that's an update I don't know what that's all trying to do look this one do this one looks a bit better Let's copy that. Let's do... Let these, let's do this. Uh, don't need that anymore. Then we don't need the try finally. We can get a bit less. And we don't need do output create builder subject. And we don't need output dispose. Just get rid of that try. Bit nicer. <clears throat> and then we can run tests on that. CD, CD, git, open source, broccoli, static site JSON, and BM. That uh, looks good, I guess. One failing. Stream. Oh, um, 
<laughs> so, I've indented things. But I've broken them because I've indented them. Uh, they're... The indents matter in uh, YAML, which is kind of sad sometimes. <laughs> like, okay, so let's go in. Pages YAML. So, one? Is that right? There you go. Make sure that they don't. Because... I know it looks a bit odd here, but like this is no space before, and this is indent of two, indent of two, indent of four. But it won't work unless you do it that way, which is a bit of a pain. Bing! Working. Nice one. So, <clears throat> this is, it should build pages channel. Uh, let's this. The branch branch mm -hmm. well uh, this is um simplify table um and reason why we're doing that first is because we want to do something very similar again <clears throat> should build so that's one that's checking all the update stuff that's fine we don't need to worry about all this update no up go away don't care what's it complaining about test title is used multiple times in the te same test week that's a pretty handy uh, error message Thank you, ESLint, for that. Uh, <clears throat> so we want one that will do the build talk.yaml. We want that to be happens <clears throat> okay so my thoughts are I don't think that actually matters it's this one no it's this one I think we need it to be JSON. build talk.yaml
Oopsie. Copy pasta problem. It's always a copy pasta problem. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure that's all we need. It's interesting though, because we need like a... Um... Hello, Minami. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Don't know if I like this table of contents. I think I want to make sure that we're just using static site JSON and not just the plugin. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I got a delivery. Oh, you can't see it because of the green screen and it's like a little bit yellow. It's not green. Um, but yeah, imagine this is a very lovely looking piece of cake. <laughs> oh, I'll have some of that. And my next. I'm going to break. Fantastic service. So you had your Monday off, Min the Me. So you're you're. Hold on, am I going to get this right? You're participating in the stream on a Wednesday in your brain. Two failures, but both of them should look the same then. Yep. That's interesting. One of them moves it into content. Okay, no, this is good. This is good, this is good, this is good. So we expect to equal Content blah. Oh. Oops. There. Go there. Go there. I'm here.
Oh my word, what has just happened? Min the me! We've got 100% on... Build something from Front End Mentor in Ember. Oh my word, we did it! 15,000 channel points. We got there in the end. <laughs> oh, Min the me, I have very exciting news. This subscriber goal that was to get us another uh, emote, that is no longer necessary. As a affiliate, just a normal Twitch person who can use emotes, I get five emotes for any like normal subs and one animated emote since like today between today and last week uh i i got a notification in my uh twitch dashboard uh my channel oh well 14 days ago maybe i didn't look at it last week new all affiliates now start with five emote slots plus one animated animated emote slot So I have four open slots for tier one. Uh... <laughs> yes, we need a Christmas Rodney. That seems like a good idea. But uh, of course, you're going to have to send me your your invoice for for emotes. Don't know what the going rate is for uh, emote drawing. Let's try that. <laughs> well, you get that anyway. You don't. You don't need to draw any emotes to. Uh... That's interesting. I need to draw me any emotes to have a place to stay if, if, did you say if, if you decide to visit, don't you mean when you decide to visit? <laughs> there we go, that's better. <laughs> Different structure. Good. Now we should have one failing. Okay. We have one failing and it's empty. Because in our index, we should do star star. Do C dot demo. And star. Eh, Star star. Do a C dot. Jason. Now it should just work. Uh, yeah, to make this. Should have to pass. Bing bada boom. Um, okay, that's it. 
go back to the test. Let's test with I move our test um okay and then we want to support using Tests and just make sure that they actually feel YAML as well as, as, well as YAML. Now the question is, <clears throat> men and me, now that you, uh, Now that you have been the person to push the community challenge over the edge, are you going to be here next week? Should I start my work on that next week? God, so many people are away on vacation. I am not. Um, you might be here. Well, I... I think I should get started. I think it might be two, like, full streaming sessions that I'm going to um, need to, like, do that. Green screen's being a bit funny. The lighting's off in here. Uh, lib, table of contents. Extension. Ammo. Pull request time. And I will do that after my Pomodoro break. Boom. Pomodoro break. And as I said I would be doing, I'm going to run an ad. Do, 
do, do, do. Totally useless. As I said, I make zero money from ads. But it is interesting because if I run an ad in these breaks, and that means that if people are joining during um, actual code time, they don't uh, see a pre-roll ad, which is good. Of course, if you're subscribing, then you also don't see an ad. So that's nice too. Now I'm going to have a bit of my cake. Oh, it's very good. It's not purple. I promise it's not purple. I don't know why the yellow is... Um, being picked up as green. Oh my word, we have <laughs> a live update. We have a live update in the channel. Min the Me has totally and utterly been a legend. Um, let me see if I can get this uploaded for y'all. Why do I have two of these open? Both of these open. Uh, emotes. Upload an emote. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> You're a total legend, Min the Me. Oh, where have you all gone? No, it does all the resizing for you. Um, do I... Do I have to refresh chat or something? <laughs> so good. That is so good. Thank you so much for that, Min the Me. A lot quicker than I was expecting. Did you have like a Santa hat uh, pre-made or was that like hand drawn on the fly? Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. The other one didn't show up. I'm wondering if you need to refresh the chat for it to, like, do its thing. Oh, there we go. Did you have to refresh? Yeah, I'm not having it here. Let me see if I refresh chat. Ah, there we go. Now it's showing up. <laughs> so good. I love the way... Like, just attention to detail. You probably can't see it if you're looking at this on, on the Twitch chat. But... Like, the hat goes behind one of his ears. Like... That might seem obvious to people. But... Is that not hard to do with layers? When you're you're doing it around a source image? I don't know anything about drawing these things. But I'm gonna go back to programming. 
Okay, so we, what did we do? We pushed our GitHub changes. Oh, why are you doing this to me? That's interesting. That's really smart, actually. I would never have thought to do that. Uh, right, go. In the middle of implementing, and it struck me that it's a bit odd that we call the YAML. is going to be pretty quick here. Oh, I have no idea what this cake is, but it's so good. Magnifique. Crack these. Oh, we've already got some tests back. One minute. Fifty. That's always going to be quick. In fact, we have tests back before we have linting back. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Of course, Windows is going to take a little while. That was pretty quick. PowerShell. Hmm. install npm7 globally Okay. Looking good. Boom. <clears throat> Golden. Now, the question is, do I wait for a review from somebody? Or do we just trust... CI 
go for a release. What we could do is we can go in here into a field guide and we can go to Rockley Static Site JSON and we can just do Empress Import Top. YAML by AML. And then that means go back to. Right. Broccoli static type done. It's asking me because I'm being silly. Him, I. Wife going out the door. Heck. We've got these one, one of these fancy doorbells. Tells you if there's somebody there. Rex. Well, so now let's see if we need to do anything. That's our field guide. Let's change that name to POC. Got YAML. Start, I guess. So I'm a bit confused. Okay. So. Okay, now I understand. So, what we're probably looking at here. We're looking at something that's. A table of contents. Lib table of contents. Okay, so we have an automatic table of contents generator. Subder docs.
So the thing that I'm looking at here is <clears throat> I think it's trying to write the docs out in the wrong place, the talk out in the wrong place, the TOC table of contents. I think it should always be table of contents inside the docs folder. Hmm. Ooh, Oberite. Interesting. Perfect. The question that we have about our table of content contents is what's the structure? If it's the same. I hope it's the same. Then essentially Broken something. Perfect. So now we're getting to getting to the um quest, but it's asking for the wrong place. So we need to go into our roots application. Gonna 
get it from the right place in here. Boom. We're going to get a different error. Wonderful. Let's see what the different error is. Shall we? Wonderful. I will take your word for it, Min the Me. I think uh, you are definitely the most creative person in the room when it comes to this. Um. We're in a bit of a pickle now. <coughs> because as I feared, as I feared, we go here, network, also logs there. Uh, have a look at the Talk to JSON. Uh, open a new tab. Just an array of the JSON. It's an array of things. Whereas the one that we have, uh, you know, the one that we have here, I don't think is an array, an object. Oh, the data. Maybe the. ID title Oh, it's because it's Ember Data. Because Brackley Static Site JSON is all about JSON API. Whereas we did it the we didn't do a JSON API. the existing field guide. <gasps> so how bad is it? Title, pages, skip talk. Title. Title, pages. ID. So it's, it's convertible. We can keep the, keep the structure. A second one today. Oh my god. No, a uh, ban. Eli Linum. Ban. Gamer X Legend. And then, like I said before, we're going to need to 
go and change some things here. Use option up to select recent messages. gonna restart boom I need a button to clear chat uh, to ban people <clears throat> get people who are banned get their stuff out of uh... So, what we need to do is we need to convert this, or specifically this, into this. We want ID, title, and pages. Pages, title. ID, title, and pages. So. Turn data dot map each one then datum singular data uh, and we're gonna return it as ID Oh, look at this. It's doing a thing. <clears throat> Cool. But what is that doing? <laughs> Shiny eyes, Rodney. Okay, getting started. Uh, okay. So, what we need now. bit of magic I think now what we're going to do is we're going to recreate the table of contents as it was in fact it would be really cool if we could have it auto populate the table of content like sync So you don't have to build this. My dear, we'll have a think about it. <clears throat> okay.
Pomodoro break time. And we'll run another ad just so that we don't get any pre-roll. So the, the ad is for a reason. Sorry if people are uh, seeing too many ads, but if we run them on the breaks, then we don't get them as pre-rolls. So I'm not just, like this is very much not trying to make money because it makes me next to zero money. People are sending me messages, but I can't see what those messages are. Oh, oh, another untitled artwork. Where's this untitled art wait, work? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you are a total ledge bag. Min the me. Uh, uh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you're gonna have to reindeer. I don't actually know how to spell reindeer, is it? I'm dyslexic. Boom. Let me... Reindeer. Why am I saying reindeer, you ask? Well, you shall see in a second. Um... Emotes. He looks so cool. And then. <laughs> this is totally ridiculous, Min the Me. But I love it. I love every minute of it. Uh, where do I? Refresh chat. <laughs> totally and utterly ridiculous i love it i love it so much thank you so much min the me you are a total legend total and utter legend Okay, so it looks like uh, Twitch lied to me. <laughs> so the thing that was announced 14 days ago is that all affiliates get five standard emotes and one animated emote. But it says that my animated emote is coming soon. <laughs> and there we go. We now have our fifth emote. <laughs> this is totally and utterly ridiculous. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, uh, where do I go? Where do I put it? I put it in here. <laughs> That's probably my favorite yet. Oh. 
Oh, that one's pending approval. Why is it pending approval? <laughs> Apparently the Rodney Wizard is just too good that it needs to have somebody actually look at it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Thanks a million, Min the Me. You are a legend. You are a total and utter legend. Enjoy your lunch. I'll see you hopefully next week if you're around. Uh, I'm going to, before I go back to programming, I'm going to just send my wife all of those emotes because they're hilarious. And uh, she'll find them funny. Yeah, she's going to find that very funny. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We're going back to programming. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Let's try. Mm, so, yeah. It's an interesting one. I'm just trying to think of what the benefit is. <laughs> nah, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it at all. So what we need to do is we need to have... Why we need that title at the top? Oh, do you have one of those uh, nest hubs? They're like little... Small screens, Min the Me. Is that what, what I am? I'm like on a tiny box now. <laughs> I'll need to make my writing a bit bigger for you to be able to read it then. <laughs> it's so small. This is a bit of an interesting one. I guess we don't need that. Then we've got getting started. What did we have? We had. So if we go to field by dot netlify dot app, we have a C. We're, so we have an index which we didn't want anyway we wanted to have just the icon be the index and then we want components and concepts then we wanted let's do Custom button. Ooh. What's next? Custom button glimmer. Then we want link to. Can't win with these. And 
then we're going to have components we have concepts pages going to be want bump what is it auto execution he's wrong okay colors now that's the live one this is our local one now we have almost all the same stuff if these actually work they do not colors Which one do you use if you were using colors? Like I know in programming or whatever, but I mean like if you were writing. Found in France, they tend to use the Americanized spelling of no you. What are they using? <laughs> I, I walked straight into that, didn't I? I walked straight into that. <laughs> But if you happen to be writing English, they're like a. Is there a, uh, a tendency one or the other? Oh, interesting. So you're you're kind of uh, playing both sides. Is that what's going on? Oh, boom. These don't seem to be doing it. Fantastico. Why are they not doing anything? Let's have a look at our... Nope. Uh, network. <laughs> yes. Um... Why do I, why am I, oh, preserve lock, go away, I don't want you to preserve lock, go away. So, no, it's this one. We have pages, title, so in the pages, title and URL, I don't think that's right. D. business now the oh we have to do the obligatory <laughs> you got there before me in the me I love it I love it <laughs> uh, that's quite funny <laughs> that's very funny Ooh. What's going on here? Captain Skydiver. 
has supported large emotes. Ah, you see, now that we've got good emotes, everybody wants the large emotes. <laughs> That's very funny. That's very funny. I like that. Um. Oh no, I do because I'm still playing with it. Uh, boom! No, it's it's working, so we can get rid of this, <coughs> and we can change. And this is the the key thing, entire reason for this feature's existence. Boop. 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 Is now no longer. Oh no! Oopsies. So, we have implemented half of the reason for this uh, feature's existence. Hey Lux, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. We, uh, you've, you've missed all the fun. Twitch has done us a solid and given us a bunch of extra emotes. So we have a, a whole family of Rodneys now. Uh, relate. 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 The whole family. There is one, one as well extra but uh, apparently it was too risque I needed uh, manual approval <laughs> madness total and utter madness the magic Rodney is missing that'll be a surprise for next week's stream <laughs> am I doing rust right now no uh, unless somebody... <laughs> uh... Oh, you're you're talking to... Locks. Oh, advent of code. I missed the message. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Locks, you will be happy to know that I've also added a... Uh... A new community challenge. Or... Uh... What's it called? Channel points redemption. Uh, for me to do a challenge on exorcism in Rust. <laughs> You're doing Advent of Code as well, aren't you, Min the Me? <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> There we go. We've got a redemption. I have to do it now. Um, where do I... Channel points. That's a request queue. So I'm going to... I'm going to do it now. Because that's how it works. Um, what language are you doing uh, Advent of Code in? Uh, in the me. Advent of Code 2021. <gasps> Netlify. This is cool. That's very cool. Right, so we're going to go to... So you're actually doing an ember. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Um, I know very little about Advent of Code. So, um, right. So where are we now? What's next? I'm doing 0.9 average exercises per week. Okay. 
so syllabus. What do we got? We've got external crates. Uh, here we go. Let's go. Um, I'm going to very quickly, nope. Cool. Okay, so I haven't done Rust in maybe a week. So I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Um, let me just really quick save project. This is I can open this a bit quicker next time. I'm going to Rust uh, resistor color. Right. So what is it? Read me. Welcome to Resistor Color. Need help during the test? Check out help. Took any exercise? Check out hints. <coughs> Most programs have dependencies on some libraries. Managing those by hand can be a pain. Luckily, the Rust ecosystem comes with standard cargo. Cargo can manage dependencies for a project. You'll often see external packages being referred to as crates in Rust. A crate is a Compilation, compilation unit in Rust. It can be compiled into a binary or into a library. Most of the time, adding external dependency is as simple as adding a line to your cargo toml. Oh, I've got a cargo toml. In this exercise, enum iterator and int enum dependencies were added for you. Cool. Awesome. Close all these other things. That's the wrong one. Eat me. If you were to build something using Raspberry Pi, you probably use resistors. For this exercise, you need to know two things about them. Each resistor has a resistance value. Resistance are small. So small, in fact, that if you printed the resistance value on them, it'd be hard to read. So this is the color band thing. <clears throat> the first two bands of a resistor have a simple encoding system. Each color maps to a single number. In this exercise, you're going to create a helpful program. You don't have to remember the values of these bands. Black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, gray, white. To look up the numerical value associated with a particular color band. To convert the numerical value into a string representing color list the different color band colors so convert the for two and three ring map the colors to the numbers better be right or your great big values go wrong okay interesting okay so uh, enum this is all very complicated uh color to value uh, and how do I how do I run this again? I run cargo test. Oh, it's downloading my crates. All of the megabytes. God. Are they really that big? How many dependencies? 
Oh no, this is the crates IO index. Okay, interesting. Piling all the things. So, color to value. What does int enum do? Let's have a look and see it. Int enum. Not really telling me much about it. Let's try that. See if it explodes. Consider importing this. Okay, so that's what this use thing's all about. Ripper. This thing is necessary. I don't know what that means. But it's a thing. So let's do it. Missing discriminant value. Okay. Cool. So. Uh, this is our numbers. And how do they want me to define them? Equals. Black equals zero. Brown equals one. Red equals two. Orange equals three. Yellow equals four. White equals five. Violet. Oh, blue. We missed blue. Violet equals seven. Did I do something wrong? White is nine. Green is five. Gray equals eight. Okay. So we do need like the whole thing, I guess. Why not? The TV is ages behind. Okay, so resistor color.
Da. Oh, and then it's without that if you want that to be the implicit return. Don't know what the difference is. <laughs> okay. And then help you run the... Include ignored. <laughs> so... This is uh, let's have a look at the readme again. What's the other one? Enum iterator. <laughs> Into Enum iterator next. wants me to what's the second thing it wants me to do value to color string so two string Oh, I need to from it what the question mark is but that's all that's fine so we do this is going to be resistor color from int value if I just return that it's not going to be a string trying to do it as a use size can't I just yeah so I need to get the result I don't know I had to unwrap the result yet okay the, the first thing was the right thing So from int, oh, there's a question mark thing. Maybe that's what that is. Oh, can't remember how to set variables.
How do I? I can just debug, so how do I? I just do that, can't I? Worked. Right, I'm doing my Pomodoro break and then we'll come back to this afterwards. <laughs> what looks weird, Min the me. Rust looks weird. Rust is pretty weird. Um I don't know if Lox is still here, if he's enjoying the mayhem that he's created. <laughs> we have a bunch of people in the chat, but uh, Twitch is telling me we don't have all that many viewers. So I'm confused how there's so many people in the chat, but not as many viewers. Oh god, yeah. Rust is pretty complicated. You see, the thing about Rust is that it's very easy to use or a systems language, which is a pretty giant caveat. The system languages are hard. You're doing weird code for advent of code. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, what? Oh, you're on the chat. But you're viewing it on... Um... Nest thingy. I don't think that counts as a view because you're not logged in, I don't think. Which is interesting. The thing with a language like Ross is he can do basically on the TV, yes. The thing with a language like Ross is you can do basically anything with it. Well, it's kind of the same with most languages, isn't it? <coughs> Oh, I should run my advert. One second. I'll see you in a minute. So, for those of you who are subscribed, it says pre-roll ads are disabled for 21 minutes. So we don't quite... Don't quite get the... Um, the full... Pomodoro length. It's a bit pants. I'd love it if it was configurable. A little bit longer. Well, give me 30 minutes instead of 21 minutes. Papers. Most scripting languages have a thing that they're used for. Does that count for JavaScript? The thing it's used for is all the things. Too many things. Most the things. Now I'm curious, Min the Me, did you get an ad? Because I don't know how you're. Can we proceed, persuade you to join? Advent of code. Um, maybe. <laughs> I know very little about Advent of code. Advent of code. I 
see you did get one okay well. this already looks kind of complicated i have 16 hours to do what about who now oh no the next one's released in 16 hours This is very strange. Okay, I'm logging in with GitHub. Understand. Sponsor join code. Nothing. I'm just gonna go save. So, to do this, count the number of times the depth measurement increases. Okay, that's very interesting. Okay, I'm going back to work. That's interesting. I'll consider it. It looks a bit complicated. Uh, so, this is now working my value to color string. Now I want to return a list of all the colors ordered by resistance. I think I can just hit her. And that's gonna be resistor color. How do I turn a list, a vector, of all the colors? See, I've already ordered my enum. collect see what happens oh, I need to implement the variant thing Just add all the things. Variant or associated item not found in blah. Just to color. I need partially Q as well. I have partially Q. Saved it into enum iterator. Oh, I need to use this. Pew. I didn't see the first. Didn't see the first error. This is the problem with these sorts of things. Yeah, 
we've got some failures. So we've got some errors, and I don't know what to do next. Oh, so it's... It wants me to do it as a result. Tests, it does. String from red. Value to color string. What's value to color string? Which one's mine? Value to color string. I want string from So it should be returning okay I don't want okay I want to unwrap it but I don't know how to do that follower serious papa welcome welcome oh this is a raid oh, i didn't get a notification of the raid i didn't see it welcome thank you for the raid serious papa how was your stream today what were you streaming great stream it's always good to hear that's always good to hear Svelte kit and Firebase. Woo, that sounds fancy. So I'm currently uh, working on a um, community, what are they called? Channel points uh, uh, payment. What are they called? Redemption, I guess, is the closest word for it. But uh, I have a channel points thing for do a rust challenge on exorcism and that's what i'm trying to do and in fact i'm going to look at hints see you in the me thanks for joining great to see you this morning and thanks for all the rodney emojis I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't understand. You debug. So this is, well, it's trying to be um, Rust code. 
Uh, is okay. I just want to get the value. Unwrap. Let's just try unwrap. Aha, we're getting better. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not all the best at uh, Rust at the moment, uh, so that's hence why I'm learning. And I'm on exorcism to try out a few things. So, test out of range. Panicked. Unwrap on error. What do we want it to be? Oh, we wanted to save value out of range. Okay. So. Oh, so we need one of those. Um, what are they called? I don't have one here. So. Match. So what I need to do What is it doing? Test eleven out of range. It's doing value to color string. No, uh out of range. Value to color string. Value to color string. Yeah. So we want to do a match thing So, I this uh, channel is very, very much oh, unreachable expression. Don't need you anymore. Um, it's very much front end focused, but um, oh, I don't even know how to do this. But I, but our company. Oh, so if thing is okay, is that how you do it? Oh, it's the wrong. Don't know how to do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm mostly front end focused. Um, I do a lot of Ember JS development. Um, well, I do back end of the front end so i'm like building libraries and uh things like that um but i don't have a goal for rust at the moment it's just that people in work have been learning it and we're trying to do more and more rust in work so well, you know it's sure why not is the thing how do i do a match on a result um Rust match result. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So I go. Okay. Res. I can just re turn format res. Otherwise, I'm 
just go right, don't care. Uh, what was the answer? Value out of range. Bing bada boom. Let's try that. I did it! Thanks, Serious Papa, uh, and thanks for the follow. I will check out your stuff as well. Um, once I'm done here. Okay, so. Boom. Resistor color. I did it. How do I submit it again? Uh, I do exorcism submit or something. Processing, processing. This is very exciting. No, no, no. Auto suggestion. Past. Fantastico. Woohoo. Uh, publish your code. Yeah, whatever. Boom. This is going well. My journey through Rust. Ah. Ah, entry API is very, very close. So yeah, there we go. Did my, my Rust thing for the day. I am 7.8% through my Rust track. And I am doing an average of one exercise per week. Huzzah. Let me just check. Uh, right, I have a pairing session with somebody in 26 minutes. So I'm going to finish this Pomodoro and then I'm going to... <coughs> I am going to uh, do something. Get a very quick lunch. So now that that distraction is over, thank you very much, Lux. Let's go back to where we were, what we were looking at. So, the, oh, we've done half of what we care about. We've done half in that, oh, excuse me. We can now change the name of the, ty of the uh, table of contents, but we can't stop it from being auto-sorted. So, I think this is a challenge because... Um, I don't think the sorting happens in field guide. I think the sorting happens in the default template. What all oh, this is about. Um, well, maybe... See if we can find a dot sort. Sorted talks. Default template table of contents. Feel like 
this shouldn't happen like this. I feel like the sorting should only happen in like what do we have we have this we have a lib table of contents But that's also not... Oh, it's so complicated. Um, Now the sorting is happening in field guide. I wonder if we have a test. No, we don't have no tests. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I need to add a no test. That's so complicated. Um, yeah. We do need a new folder, node, tests. And here we're going to go a copy stuff from broccoli static site JSON. So that looks like this. to put that in a uh, table of contents new file It'll look like this we're going to put in our ESLint RC somewhere uh, I'm going to do test files um, Node files, mocha test. Um, I'll do 
files, node tests. First our star.js extends node recommended. Look at true. Cool. Cancel. Cancel. Cool. So now I need to install some stuff real quick. So we don't need this anymore. This, this is, is this field guide? Yes, it is. So we want to do npm i save dev shy and then broccoli test helper. Ooh. Easy. Let's get the life out of my dog just there. Uh, something dropped off my chair. Cool. Uh, what I need to do here in npm ignore. And with tests, do node. Tests. Good. Uh, cool. So that's us done for today. Um, I will continue working away on this. Um, but in the meantime, oh, I was going to say, let's have a look and see if we can find a channel to raid, but it doesn't look like there's anybody online. Twitch.tv. Let's have a look in the programming. Uh, section software and game development. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Let's see anything of interest, at least not in English speaking, anyway. Oh, advent of code enclosure. Oh, there's a design-based one. That one looks kind of cool. Oh, this looks cool. Let's let's uh, let's raid this person here. Okay. There we go. So uh, thanks again, everybody, for hanging out. It was lots of fun, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you next week for our uh, uh, what was it again? Our channel point thing, front end mentor. We're going to build something in Front End Mentor. Um, yeah. Good luck. I hope you have a good week. Bye, everybody.